Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this Black & Decker 20 volt max lithium pivot hand vac. This was picked up at Target, it was actually the only place I could find it locally. Um, it was picked up for $71.99 plus tax. This is model number BDH2000PL for reference. Uh, my wife's hand vac had bit the dust, I fixed it a couple of times, finally just decided that we were going to go get her a new one and it has been used already and first and foremost it seems to work great it has tons of suction for a handheld vac and i'm going to make some messes just so you can show how well see how well it works uh, but it is a pivot like i said there's a button right here in front of the on off switch where you can dial this around to any position you want and fold it up it does come with a base station which is a charging stand so once you fold it up you can install it on here and it will charge it did also come with two screws and drywall inserts so you could mount it to a wall if you chose to and hold it like that you're supposed to charge it for 24 hours so they say when you get it out of the box I just stuck it on the stand and left there's a charging light on the side of it. It will flash blue while it's charging then when it goes off it is fully charged. It is lithium so it should last quite a long time and maintain its power throughout rather than using like a NICAD where they slowly go downhill. Uh, it should have full power throughout its uh, battery life. So some other features on it which I don't know how well they're going to work. There's a flip out brush here on the front doesn't look too useful to me but hey it's there and then there's what they would call a crevice tool that slides out the front here and it locks in now getting this back in you kinda have to be careful because you can pinch your finger down here you have to push with your thumb and then push it in so be careful or you'll pinch yourself uh, to empty it you just simply open this door by lifting this lever and you can empty it out. The only thing I can say thus far that might be a problem for folks is there's a little flap up here, a rubber flap, I don't know if you can see it, and then it kind of is a cyclonic action that turns around this drum and there's a filter in the center. Uh, depending on what you have that are that is being picked up, it might have a tendency to bind up in this area right here and not allow the flap to open to get any more of what you're cleaning. So you may have to shake it around or open it up and dig it out. That's just one thing that looks like it might be an issue. I'm not sure, but I'll know later. If you want to change the filter, clean the filter, this, that, and the other, there is a button right here on the side. After you empty it, push this button, hold it in, and this will come off. There is a handle you can pick up to pull your filter out. I've cleaned it even though it's been used just for the demonstration of this video. Uh, this is washable. I just blew mine out with compressed air. So you can wash it, make sure it's thoroughly dry, and then reinstall it as well as clean out everything in here with maybe a damp rag. Simply put your filter back in, press it in, stick it on here, turn it and it will click back in place now you're back in action so when you push this button right here to pivot things around they have index points I'm pushing it and then it will rotate so far and lock in and you can use it in any position you like uh, it's not very heavy and when you have it extended it feels fairly comfortable uh, my wife seems to like it she's used it maybe 10 or 15 minutes so far has no complaints on it I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here and let you hear it it is a little bit loud but it is powerful so that's kind of a trade-off to get power you have to kind of deal with the noise I don't know how well the cameras gonna pick it up so here we go You know, it's no sh shop vacuum, but that's not what its intended purpose is for. It's just cleaning up little spills. It did come with a manual and a little instruction sheet here. Nothing much to say about that. All the information's in there. 
uh, but all in all it seems to work very good for what it is so let me make a mess with some dog food or something and we'll see it in action all right well I've grabbed a little bit of my dog's food she wasn't happy about that but let's go ahead and try it you know this would simulate maybe Cheerios cereal something like that for anybody trying to pick them up around their house if they have kids so let's see what it does Wow, that didn't even hesitate. Let's do that one more time. Well, I think that's a reasonable test. You know, dog food's not light. So I think if it will pick up dog food, it will pick up most anything else that you might spill. All in all, it appears to be a great product. It does have plenty of suction. Time will tell on its longevity. But I wouldn't hesitate to pick one up based on what I know right now. I hope this helps in some way. Thanks for watching and good luck.